thanks for being here. Ian, Michael, thanks for being with us tonight. And for the rest of you that I can't see, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day and uh, or your evening. Up here, it's uh, Friday night, 9 o'clock Central Time. On the East Coast, it's 10 p.m., so it's uh, pretty late for everybody over there. And uh, so hang on one second. We'll get this thing rolling. We're going to talk about the topic of high blood pressure, which, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a topic I like to talk about because it affects a lot of people. Katie, are you there? Yep, yeah, I'm here. Hello All right, and welcome. Well, <laughs> thanks for being with us again every, every Friday night, every Saturday morning for you down in, in uh, Australia. Yeah, that's right. So, and uh, we're in our winter here in Melbourne, so, but it's not, not nowhere near as cold as it gets in Fargo. No. But, but Roz is in, uh, I saw Roz's video and she's in Brisbane. She says, oh, it's a winter's day here and it's 24 degrees, which is about... 10, 10 degrees warmer or 10 or 15 degrees warmer than it is in Melbourne. Oh, and, okay. Uh, yeah. So they don't really have winters. Yeah. You, you guys complain about cold and you don't even know what cold is. Yeah. You, know, you could, you could jump in your freezer and it'd be warmer than it, than it gets here. Yeah. I bet. So, so anyway, yeah. anyway we're, yeah, we are we're having, we're having beautiful weather. It's uh hot, sunny days and, um, we get, we're beginning a little bit of rain showers, uh, uh, every day, which is good. I'm looking out my window, looking at my garden and everything is growing the corn and, uh, and the beans and the peas and, the, the squash and the melons are all coming up. I like it. So is, do you grow your own vegetables? I try to. Yeah. I try to. Yeah. I, it's, uh, not everything, not everything like certain certain you know like carrots it's cheaper to go to the store and buy carrots than it is to grow them you know so right. and potatoes and things like that yeah you know yeah. and okay. uh, but but you know so anyhow katie you know well you want to talk about high blood pressure today and i was just going to say we really can't talk about high blood pressure without talking about toxins okay good right i mean because it kind of, the two kind of go hand in hand. All right, let's 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 talk about that. I've got some slides and um, okay. so, yeah, so we're doing a, a general health information talk this evening. We'll be talking about the topic of high blood pressure, heart health. Kurt's gonna touch on toxins and we're gonna talk about ingredients and lifestyle changes that you can implement to support health. So okay. let me just share my Hang slide on to you. Hang on one second. Excuse me. So before you, before you get into your slides, okay, you're already getting your slides going. Um, <laughs> but I was just going to say, yeah, um, we're not giving any healthcare advice. We're, um, we're not uh, diagnosing. We're not treating. We're not, um, we're not implying any kind of treatment, anything like that. If you feel that you have a high blood pressure or if you have symptoms that you feel might be due to high blood pressure, contact your healthcare provider. We're not your doctors. I'm a doctor, but I'm not your doctor. That's and, right. And I'm and, a, a and, nutrition and, coach and I'm not a doctor either. If you're unwell, um, if you have concerns, you, you know, with your blood pressure or any other health concern, yeah, do consult your healthcare provider, your doctor. Yep. And, and, and the products that we're talking about, um, you know, the ingredients we're going to talk about, it's, uh, it, this, this is our opinion, um, Katie and myself, um, we're not sharing the opinion of anybody else, the company, anything like that. And we can't, we can't, we can't say that products cure or treat either. So we just yeah, want to so make sure gonna, that we're, we're actually we're not going to be talking about any specific products tonight. Okay. We're going to talk about ingredients and go through those, but okay. Um, yeah. So first, let me, let me say this before you bring up your, or if you <laughs> want to bring up your title slide, I was just going to, I was just going to say that, you know, I've talked a lot about high blood pressure with people over the years. And, and, uh, and, you know, one of the things that I tell people is that we have to look at what causes high blood pressure um, to, uh, to begin with, when you look at high blood pressure, you know, um, and what is blood pressure, you got the, the systolic, and you got the diastolic. And what they basically are is think of your, your blood vessels, 
your arteries and your your veins think of them like being the water pipes in your house and you got a certain amount of pressure that pushes the blood through those arteries and what happens is is that when there's something obstructing those arteries um your body's built with a with a system that's got a, it's got a lot of sensors like think of them like computer sensors and they they sense that there might be extra back pressure what ends up happening is then the pump which is your heart it beats harder to push that blood through mm -hmm. and when it does that that causes the blood pressure to go up but what that does then is then yeah when the blood pressure goes up the arteries are only built you know just like the pipes in your house they're only built to handle so much pressure before they start to burst before they start, you know, which we call an aneurysm, if it's an artery in your body, um, or they get little tears in them. And, and, and so I was talking to a friend of mine today and, uh, and she had high cholesterol right. and her, her doctor, her doctor talked to her, um, about high cholesterol, wanted to put her on a medication and, uh, and, she started taking some natural products and, you know, since we're not going to mention any names of products, I won't say what they, what they were, but she started taking the product with resveratrol and brown seaweed extract in them. And, uh, mm -hmm. and her, her, uh, bad cholesterol in a matter of 90 days, her bad cholesterol went down. And, uh, and, but what the doctors are really surprised about is that the, the good cholesterol, the good fat actually went up. And her doctor said that she'd never seen that happen before. Her doctor said that we always see the, you know, or we always, we, we tend to see the bad stuff come down, but we never see the good stuff go up. So she hmm. was really happy about that. But um, toxicity causes, causes um, most toxins are fat soluble, Katie. I mean, you know that from being into nutrition, most yeah. toxins are fat soluble. And so if you start getting, cholesterol right cholesterol is fat right cholesterol is fat and so if a, if a toxin is fat soluble it gets deposited in the fat well mm -hmm. since the cholesterol is in your arteries then that then that toxin gets deposited in that in the cholesterol and it starts to make the artery hard which we call atherosclerosis and i'm sure mm -hmm. you've got some stuff i like that on the slide but but when the artery gets hard then that's going to cause that's going to cause the blood pressure to go up as well, and so it kind of turns into a vicious cycle. But it all started from those toxins getting deposited in the fat cell or in the, in the fatty tissue with the cholesterol, and uh, and and so if we can lower the lower the the bad cholesterol, if we can lower the toxicity, um, it's certainly going to help with uh, with the blood pressure. And did this uh, friend of yours that was taking these ingredients, did she change anything else other than take the ingredients? Um, actually, no, she was already, she felt like she was eating a pretty good diet. So that's the only thing that she changed. And, uh, and, and oh, it, it, it came under, difference. everything came under control. I, I wanted her to get on, but she was busy tonight. I wanted her to get on and share her story, but. Okay, great. Well, I think um, we can bring Ian across to the panel. He's going to share a testimonial tonight about natural ingredients that he's taken that has helped with his blood pressure. So if he is on the call, if you can move him okay. over to the panel. But let yep. me get into these slides here. We're going to talk about um, nitric oxide support um, this evening or today, if you're in Australia or in New Zealand. Um, actually, you know, and I really like to talk about this sort of stuff before we get into it. Let me, I'm trying to move this bar out of the way here, but um, so, you know, being a health and nutrition coach, I love to look at, you know, health and lifestyle changes that people can make um, before reaching for a pill or a tablet. And it's really great to do things in conjunction, um, you know, use an integrated approach. And so um, this is a, a chart here with uh, lifestyle advice and uh, behaviors that can impact um, people's uh, blood pressure. And uh, this is, uh, I'm just sorry, I've got, there's so many things on the screen, I'm just trying to move stuff out of the way. So yeah, this is um, key, key things that everyone, you know, really needs to be aware of for optimum health. If you're on this call, if you're listening to the recording, you're someone who's really wanting to enjoy better health um, and just have a better quality of life from a health perspective, these are definitely things that you need to consider uh, incorporating every day into your lifestyle. Um, obviously, the first one here is exercise. 
uh, they recommend you know, 150 to 300 minutes of moderate intensity exercise or 75 to 150 minutes of vigorous exercise each week and muscle strengthening activities on at least two days each week. That can be with weights or um, body resistance uh, or, or you know, therabands, that sort of thing. So these are the guidelines that have come out. Waist circumference is really important um, and, and weight control for blood pressure. That is a, a key factor in controlling um, blood pressure. You wanna be in the healthy weight range there. Uh, fruit and veg, this is my favorite topic, Kurt. You know, uh, it's really my new mantra for 2023 and beyond is the two fruit, five veg every day. And it can actually be a big challenge to reach that every day. But, um, you know, incorporating your fruit and vegetables in your diet is really important for so many reasons. Uh, it helps to maintain weight. It helps, to, helps you if you're trying to lose weight. Uh, it helps with bowel movements. You know, it can help with uh, cholesterol, uh, balancing blood sugar levels because of all the good fiber in there and so many other things. But that's uh, on there. And of course, smoking is definitely not good if you have got blood pressure issues and um, not drinking in excess either and having um, it, it within moderation is really important too. So healthy uh, for men and women, drinking no more than two standard drinks on any given day uh, for women and no more than four, uh, sorry, for men and women and no more than four on any one occasion. Um, so these are some guidelines just to bear in mind because you know these are important things to incorporate into your lifestyle, especially if you, as I said, you want that optimum health. Um, so Kurt, you wanna talk on this slide for a second? I'm just gonna grab some water. You bet. Well, when we look at blood pressure, you got to remember that when they say 120 over 80, um, they took an average of blood pressure uh, of, of healthy people, and they found out that 120 over 80 was kind of that that um, averaged uh, amongst amongst the healthy people. So they set that as as basically the norm. But now, if you're a really small person, if you're a really small frame. Um, your blood pressure is going to be a little bit lower. If you're somebody who's in really good tip top physical shape, um, your blood pressure is going to be a little bit lower as well. If you're a bigger person, you know, your blood pressure is not going to be a little bit higher. So, so that's why they kind of say a range of 120 over 20, uh, 29, um, over 80 to 84, because it gives it kind of a range. And, and, but you know, when you start having a high normal, you know, that's when it's over 130 on the top number and the lower number is 85 to 89 and and mild uh, high blood pressure. You know, it starts getting over that 140 mark. Um, and what that's basically saying is that there's 140 pounds of pressure inside your vessels um, when your heart is beating. And there's almost 100 pounds of pressure in there just when it's at the rest, when it's at rest. And just think about that. I mean, think about 100 pounds of pressure. If someone was pushing against you with 100 pounds of pressure, um, they'd push you over. And, and that's what's going on inside your blood vessels. And then you start having, um, you know, a, a moderate, which is 160. To me, that seemed more than moderate. Um, and, then, and then the severe high blood pressure is over 180. You know, and I know people who, who have blood pressure that's over 200 at the end, mm. their, their top number. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, that's way high. They're they're uh, they're a heart attack. They're an explosion waiting to happen, and uh, and you know, and it's not just taking a medication. You know, I think that people are convinced that they they just need to take a high blood pressure medication, and that's not that's not the only answer. I mean, yeah, you might you might need that blood pressure medication um, to lower it uh, immediately, just just so you can get everything else under under control you know, um, whether, whether, no matter what it is, you want to get that lifestyle under control. You want to get that diet under control. You want to get your weight under control, whatever it happens to be. So, um, exercise helps and definitely quit that smoke and cigarettes. Yeah. So yeah, this is where we come back to the previous slide. These are the things that you want to implement if you've got, you know, issues with your high blood pressure first and foremost. Um, so, uh, really important stuff there. And, you know, it's, it's like a warning signal, isn't it, Kurt? It's like the, the red lights come on. It's like, you know, when the red light comes on in your car, you're driving along and saying, hey, you're low on petrol. And you're like, oh, you know, I'm just going to ignore it for a bit. And uh, you can ignore it for a, for a little while. But then if you keep ignoring it, um, boom, you're gonna, yeah, you're going to run out of petrol. 
And uh, I used to do that all the time when I was really young, but um, <laughs> I don't do that anymore. But yeah, so if there's a warning light and your blood pressure, you know, here's a, a prompt, here's some motivation, inspiration for you to take action now. Um, you know, and if you would like a copy of these slides, of course, we happy to send those to you as well. So we're going to talk about nitric oxide support um, and what it can do, um, how it can actually support workouts, recovery time, weight management and sex drive and uh, the science behind nitric oxide in your system. Um, it enhances your body's ability to absorb more oxygen and antioxidants. And it's important for normal body function because it's a signaling molecule and acts as a cue for other molecules to perform a myriad of body functions. So um, here we've got a slide uh, about the Nobel Prize that was won in, um, for physiology or medicine in 1998. And uh, do you wanna talk about these three gentlemen? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know um, anything about any of them. I just, really? I mean, they got the Nobel Prize, of course, because they discovered how important that nitric oxide molecule is. Okay. And uh, yeah. All right. Okay. So they're not a friend. <laughs> uh -huh. they, okay, they, so they, yeah. they, look, they look pretty scientific. They don't, they don't they do. look like, they don't look like they'd be, um, you know, they probably couldn't carry on a very good conversation in a, in a, in a party situation. You know, they look like they've gotten down to business there, but um, th this is the uh, prize. <laughs> yeah, this is the prize. So this is, you were talking about this earlier, Kurt, um, about, you know, the pressure in um, the arteries. Um, so do you want to talk to this slide here? You bet. Well, you know, take a look at that, at that uh, upper picture there, you know, the, the nitric oxide, what it does is it opens up the blood vessels just well, just a single dose of, of a nitric oxide will open up the blood vessels by 62%. I mean, it, you think about that, 62%. So um, a red blood cell is is uh, uh, six microns, and uh, it's some of these blood vessels they can be closed up all the way down to uh, three, and when it gets down to three, the red blood cell can't get through, and uh, and so. So really uh, just a miracle molecule is like, like they said in the Nobel Prize, so. Yeah, amazing. And so, yeah, you can see here that um, the dilation of the blood uh, vessels and yeah, opening that up and how it affects it. So that's a good picture. Um, this was an interesting article. I just thought I'd throw this one in. This um, came from the uh, Dental Tribune and uh, it's on um, nitric oxide and how it impacts um, the airways and um, and it's been shown uh, to have an antiviral effect. Did you know about this, Kurt? Um, you know, I, I I remember I remember reading that nitric oxide was good for viruses back when when COVID first hit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, and it can produce um, antimicrobial effects against bacteria, fungi, and viruses. Um, so this was um, published in this um, Dental Tribune. Uh, magazine and um, that was yeah when COVID hit and they were talking about there you go. benefits of nitric oxide um, and that was from Dr. Minna Saha is that how you saw <laughs> yeah Dr. Mahar Shah or I'd say I'd say yeah. yes tricky pronunciation um, okay so yeah so that was an interesting article I just thought I'd throw in there um, you might want to look it up so if you did want to look it up um, you could look up nitric oxide and it's in the Dental Tribune um, and it was in the news there for that magazine. But um, yeah, nitric oxide has been linked to improve cardiovascular health, obviously, as uh, we've talked about the Nobel uh, Prize that was given and, uh, you know, as being one of the greatest discoveries in history of cardiovascular medicine um, and it's an essential molecule um, and helps the blood vessels relax. So um, we've kind of established that information. And now have we got Ian, um, Ian with us at the moment? I think I moved him over. Let me double check. Um, no, he didn't get moved over. Try it. Try again. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. All right, Ian, you should be getting an invite to move over to the panel. Um, there you go. You should be coming over to the panel. All right, so um, there you go, Ian. Okay, great. Because this this is um uh, invited Ian um. And he uh, gracefully accepted this is his testimonial about how uh, he was able to reduce um, his blood pressure with taking nitric oxide ingredient. Ian, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Good, good morning and good evening to both of you. Thank you. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, it was really an interesting um, exercise. Um, as I was getting older in life, uh, I normally get my general medical checkups every so often. Anyway, this time I went, it was in my, probably in my 50s. And I suddenly realized that my blood pressure was a bit abnormal. So obviously in those days, they put you straight on to medical uh, or pharmacological stuff to actually reduce the pressure. But unfortunately, with these things after a while, they have a bit of a side effect. And um, and that's what didn't I didn't try to gel with. And um, so over the time, uh, I did some research uh, with uh, some natural products that may be able to um, help me either remove the medical um, stuff that I was taking. And uh, I actually come across um, a product that had these various um, uh, constituents with it. And um, one of them was that that really was, was good was the fact is that one had a, a beet root juice type extract in it. And um, I did some research on that anyway. I thought, well, I'll have a go at it. So I actually purchased the product and, uh, and, and took the product for a while. Now there's a graph on the screen here, which is probably better than me, me talking too much about it, is that you can see there from the second to the fourth right through till the 10th to the fourth that I took a graph of my diastolic and systolic. And you can see there that this product, not only with the beet, but it had other other ingredients that also do have an impact on blood pressure. Um, yeah, and we'll talk about those. B, yeah, even the B3 um, has a uh, an effect on your blood pressure in, in its fact that it actually instigates prostaglandins. But anyway, you can see here that um, from the time that I started taking it, you'll see that initially my blood pressure was the systolic was up around 140. I mean, it, it has been higher, but on this time, I actually just, just graphed it for these particular days just to prove to myself that this product really did something. And it was very quick. You know, like you, you could take the product and within probably an hour, maybe, maybe even a little bit less, you could measure your pressure and you would find um, that it would be down quite considerably. And, um, and that, that was really good for me because... I'm not a drug taker. I don't like the pills and things. So um, I found this and there was no real side effects with it. Uh, in fact, the product itself had other ingredients, which I believe Katie and Kurt will talk about um, that have other attributes as well. So th this is my little story about, you know, taking uh, a product that has these particular ingredients, which do actually help um, with your blood pressure. Now, with that in mind, um, you do need to take them a couple of times a day to maintain the pressure. So, um, but it, in essence, it was a brilliant, it's a brilliant product that I found and I still take it to this day. I take other products as well. I think they mentioned before there was um, things with like Ficoidin and resveratrol and things like that. They are really important aspect of my cellular strength. So yeah, I can only promote this as really been a fantastic ingredient. So Fantastic. Beat. All right. And, yeah. And, and Ian, um, you recently, um, you know, were participating in the weight loss challenge and lost uh, quite a, a lot of weight. How did you find that impacted your blood pressure? Yeah, it was it was really good because um, what I also, with, with the weight loss, you find that um, my blood pressure was easy, more easily controlled. Um, right. Yeah. Uh, and the other aspect of, of blood pressure too is you've got to be mindful of, um, you know, any stress in your life. I think that's important too, because that raises your blood pressure up and down. Pressure changes over the day, so um, normally, but but stress can be one of these insidious uh, things that sit in the background and you don't really realise. But um, yeah. and I think yeah. what, what through this weight loss was that the exercises that I was doing, just walking around, you know, doing that sort of thing was really good for dissipating any of the, the stress you might have in your body, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah no, weight, was, weight was good, Katie. Weight loss. Yeah, because you know, and the exercise helps um, get rid of excess adrenaline and cort and drop cortisol levels at the same time as um, boosting, you know, endorphins and your serotonin. So it has, you really? know, just such a wonderful benefit. And uh, I don't think people realize um, all that. So yeah, so um, here we've got an interesting slide about um, nitric oxide. Um, 
so it is an essential element that humans produce naturally. So we do produce it, um, but one that must be replenished on an ever increasing basis, regardless of your physical condition, your level of nitric oxide does decline with age. And that's why another reason why as we age, you know, we face more challenges, more health challenges and people really, a lot of people don't make the connection that their bodies are starting to slowly wear out. Um, things are wearing out, running out. And uh, men at the age of 40 only produce 50% of the nitric oxide they did in their 20s. And women on average produce 35% at the age of uh, 50 as they did in their 20s. So, um, you know, having nitric oxide support in your lifestyle can make a big benefit. So these were some of the ingredients that uh, Ian was just touching on here. Um, Kurt, do you want to read through those ingredients there? You bet. Well, you take a look at red beet extract, uh, you know, like Ian was saying, there's a lot of great studies on red beet extract. Um, and, you know, it's got L-arginine in it. It's got L-citrulline. And uh, those are those directly move into your, your body metabolizes them into nitric oxide. And, uh, and that helps with the exercise recovery. It helps out with, with uh, sexual function. It helps out with a lot of different things, including uh, dilation of the blood vessels, like we talked about, 62% increase uh, the dilation of the, of the blood vessels. Um, so uh, then, then on top of that, it's got the extract from Long Jack. It's got ginseng. You know, you've, uh, everybody's heard of ginseng by now. And then some different flower pollens. And then uh, pomegranate juice, you know, pomegranate is considered to be a super fruit from uh, South America. And, and it helps to release some free testosterone in your body. And, and that helps out with stress management. It helps you so that you uh, have more energy and, uh, and uh, you bet. Yeah, fantastic. And so I've inc incorporated, so if you look up, um, yeah, the red beet e extract. So this is from WebMD. Um, medical website um, says that early research shows taking red beet extract for two weeks and reduce total cholesterol, low density uh, lipoprotein, which is an LDL or bad cholesterol and triglycerides in people with heart disease, high blood pressure. Um, so it said, you know, drinking beet beetroot juice might help, um, but here specifically they're talking about the extract. And so there is a big difference between taking a concentrated extract and getting it from the whole food. Obviously you wanna first and foremost get your nutrition from your food, but you, you can't go past um, concentrated extracts, can you Kurt, that have been uh, taken because you, you know, trying to consume that amount of beetroot as well, opposed well, there, to- Well, the there's, yeah, there's just so many things in a, in a, in a fruit or a vegetable, you know, mm -hmm. that, that you have to work, you know, a lot of different things. And so when you're looking for that one specific extract, like we're talking about L-citrulline or L-arginine, you know, you concentrate it, and then now you don't have to take very much. You can still drink the the red uh, beet juice and uh, and but but concentrate the the active the active ingredient. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we talked about the flower pollen. So um, bee pollen contains many vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, and um, have shown that it's linked to decreased uh, inflammation as well as improving immunity, menopausal symptoms, and wound healing. That is a reference from Healthline.com. Um, we talked about the American and ginseng. Um, so some uh, scientists believe that it enhances immune system and it can help to fight off infection and, and uh, disease potentially. And several clinical studies have shown that it does improve the performance of cells um, that play a role in immunity. Um, so that's um, an interesting uh, information about that. Um, and then pomegranate, um, Kurt, you're talking about the benefits of this particular ingredient. You know, um, people have you know, talked about it as being a super fruit. So when you actually go to PubMed and look up pomegranate, uh, there's lots of studies that come up in relation to prostate cancer um, and that it can support um, people or patients, or men rather, <laughs> uh, with, with this condition. So um, there's some great studies on, on that particular ingredient and uh, you can go and look them up for yourself. So just really interesting information on particular ingredients. So you could see how if you combine them synergistically together, um, you could have a really beneficial impact. So um, yeah, this slide, we're nearly finished here. So we're just coming up to the half hour. Do you wanna just talk through this one here, Kurt? You bet. So, you know, when you take and you combine the, the, the ingredients, what happens is, is that your body, your body um, uses them 
uh, to one to balance out the other and, and, and to make it so that everything works together. And, and it's kind of like you, you've heard that, you know, one plus one equals two, but when you start adding different ingredients together, all of a sudden one plus one doesn't equal two anymore. All of a sudden it equals four because it's got a multiplying effect. And mm -hmm. so it supports uh, better energy. And like we talked about it, uh, uh, helps with uh, getting it so you can recover quickly when you, when you work out, um, improved weight loss. Um, it's, it's been, you know, shown that when you feel better, you're, you're going to lose weight faster in libido for both men and women, L-arginine, if you look it up, um, you know, they've made some L-arginine creams for women that, uh, were really effective and then, um, better immunity because it, it's going to help boost, uh, some of the, some of the white blood cell count and it's going to make it so that you're, you're healthier that way too. Yeah, that's fantastic. Um, so that was, uh. The L-glutamine as well is in there. Um, do you want to talk through this one here? You bet. Well, you know, the pituitary gland is is, an, is is an important one. It's one that you probably don't talk about very much, you know, um, but it, the pituitary gland is, is one of the master glands in your body, and it's capable of producing this, this human growth hormone. A couple of years ago, people were getting injections of human growth hormone, um, but they need that L-glutamine um, to, to help uh, uh, boost that, boost that uh, human growth hormone, that HGH and, and the plasma growth hormone. And, uh, and it's just going to help your body. So you, you build lean muscle, you're going to build uh, bones, you're going to stay stronger, you're going to stay more fit as you age. You know, like Katie pointed out earlier, you know, around the ages of 40 or 50, you know, we're, we're dropping to, we're dropping, you know, pretty, pretty significant levels of our, of our, um, of our, uh, uh, nitric oxide. Yeah. 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 And that's just part of the aging. Yep. So we've talked about that and, uh, Kurt's talked about bones and, uh, sorry, bones, muscle, skin, hair, organs, energy, and strength, um, testosterone and libido for supporting these things. Um, yeah. And the other thing is too, obviously it can help with, you know, all sorts of things, body holistically. So, you know, energy levels and vision, hearing, skin, hair, bones. So um, yeah, really great information there. And um, hopefully you've enjoyed the presentation today. And I want to thank Ian for jumping on, sharing his testimonial about the ingredients he's been taking and how they've supported his health. Uh, bear in mind the lifestyle changes that are recommended for optimum health that we've talked about at the start of the presentation. And um, yeah, and that's a wrap for, for today. You bet. Well, Katie, thanks for being with us. Ian, thanks for uh, jumping on and sharing your story. And for all of you folks that just jumped on to listen, find something new, uh, thanks for being with us. Get back to the person that got you the video and, and let them know if you're interested or not. And give it a try. Boy, I tell you what, I, I, as we were sitting here um, talking, I was looking at my bottle of, of the product that, that uh, has all these ingredients in it. Yeah, fantastic. All right, well, have a great uh, weekend and uh, we wish you well. All right, bye-bye. Thanks, bye.